A lengthy investigation by the Federal Trade Commission, the state of Tennessee, 49 other states, and the District of Columbia found that between 2008 and 2012, the following charities raised more than $187 million, and very little of that money went to health cancer patients. A federal complaint filed today in the U.S. District Court for the District of Arizona names the following defendants, Cancer Fund of America and Cancer Support Services, as well as the president of these two corporations, James Reynolds Sr., Chief Financial Officer of both companies, Kyle Epler, a longtime associate, Children's Cancer Fund of America, and President Rose Perkins, Mr. Reynolds' ex-wife, Breast Cancer Society, and its Executive Director, James Reynolds II, Mr. Reynolds' son. We're making this announcement today here in Knoxville for a very specific reason. Each of these four organizations, these charities either started here or have strong ties to Knox County. The investigation found the defendants lied to people across this nation and would often use 85% or even more of every donation to pay themselves, family, or friends. Sometimes they would use it to fund lavish cruises, jet ski outings, concert tickets, dating member websites, as well as trips to Disney World. At every turn, they chose to help themselves over the people they claimed to be helping. I just want to be real clear, this type of activity will not be tolerated in our state. Some cases we saw where telemarketers were, were getting almost 90 cents of every dollar they were raising. So at, you know, at some point, it seemed like the purpose of the organization was just to continue to feed the organization and, and never, it, it wasn't about helping those who truly were in need. And the real victims are twofold. Number one, there are people who have needs, their family have needs because of their lives being affected by cancer, who need some type of assistance. And they rely on organizations allegedly like this, and they weren't able to get help. The other victims are people who, through their generosity, you know, we have one of the most generous states in the country that's been shown that, you know, through our generosity, we're giving these dollars thinking that we're doing something positive with them, helping somebody in need who's less fortunate. We're called to help those, you know, the least of these. And, you know, come to find out our dollars were sending people on jet ski outings and Disney cruises and con buying concert tickets. And that's not why people gave these dollars. Two of the organizations, the Children's Cancer Fund of America and the Breast Cancer Society, have agreed to shut down and be dissolved. And three of four defendants, Rose Perkins, James Reynolds II and Kyle Epler have agreed to settlements, including lifetime bans from charity fundraising. The other defendants, Cancer Fund of America, Cancer Support Services, as well as James Reynolds Sr. will be decided in court. Assets from Children's Cancer Fund of America and the Breast Cancer Society will be liquidated and used to pay the judgments in this case. This is about protecting Tennesseans from people or organizations determined to scam them out of their hard-earned dollars that they thought were going to help people in need. The real key yeah. is, is that there's a lot of hard-working people at all, four, all levels of state government, you know, and not just ours. I mean, there's, you know, Missouri, New Mexico, and Arizona have all been intimately involved. There have been investigations in other states that go before ours. And there's a lot of people who are unsung heroes who I'm never going to meet who have been out there doing the meticulous work of doing these investigations and going through, the, you know, whether it's tax forms, whether it's telemarketing scripts, uh, whether it's, you know, trying to listen where they have them available to listen to phone calls where money's been raised. It took a lot of meticulous research to get these days, and that's why it takes so long. Um, but there's a lot of good, dedicated people throughout government who have worked to make this day possible.